this beast somehow that's in there. It comes alive every time you become a bit angry. Come on. You know it's true. You know inside of you is hidden this beast that comes alive. Today we're going to talk about this aspect of this hidden beast. This thing called anger. Or at least some form of this beast called anger. We're going to find out how we can attack this hidden beast that lives beside, inside every one of us, whether we're men or women, young or old. We're going to talk about it today. So here's the truth. We may, we may not all be incredible hawks. But we all get angry. <coughs> all of us. In fact, anger is pretty normal. It's natural. And since it's a normal human response, anger in and of itself is not bad. Now, wait a minute. You're saying, now, Richard, come on. You've been spoken this morning. Come on. No, I'm serious. Anger in and of itself is not bad. And we're going to qualify that. We're going to see why that is in just a minute. Because it's a normal human response. Even God got angry. In the Old Testament, you find anger mentioned 455 times in the Old Testament. 375 of those, 82%, it was God who got angry. Usually with words like, God's anger burns over the sins of Israel. God's anger burned over the iniquities of his people. So God got angry. Jesus got angry. The disciples got angry. Everybody gets angry from time to time. And the truth is, it's very difficult to live in this world and interact with people without getting angry. It really is. So anger is not evil. Anger is not sinful. Anger is not part of our fallen nature either. And anger is not a product of Satan. But hold that thought. We're going to come back to that. He certainly has something to do with it. We'll examine a little more and a little bit later. But here's the thing. Here's what anger really is. It's designed by God to motivate us to take, and remember this, this, this two, these two words, constructive action in the face of an injustice. Another important word. Constructive action in the face of injustice. So if anger is this natural God-designed state, or in that natural God-designed state, if that's not the beast, then what is? What is the beast? That leads me to my first, first big thing I want to talk about this morning. What is the real problem? What is it that causes us to go from a mild-mannered whatever, a mild-mannered Richard to the Incredible Hulk? Well, Paul gives us a clue in that passage that we read this morning. Let's go back to it. Read ver in verse uh, 26. Paul says, Be angry and do not sin. That word there, and, in the Greek language, from which this was originally written, can also be interpreted but. In fact, in many translations, it is translated but in this passage. And I think that's a better translation. Be angry or get angry, depending on the translation, but do not sin. See, the problem with anger isn't anger, it's sin. Anger only becomes a beast when it becomes sin. And by this I mean when God's designed anger becomes distorted, misdirected, misguided, and even self-serving anger. As we said, anger is not all bad. Anger that results from moral injustice is good. And Jesus proved that to be the case.